Now we come to chapter 23. And as we come to chapter 23, why, we see the death of Sarah and Abraham's purchase of a cave in which to bury her, and that's the cave of Machpelah. Now, will you notice as we come to chapter 23, we have first of all here the death of Sarah. And Sarah was a hundred and seven and twenty years old. These were the years of the life of Sarah. And Sarah died in Kerjif Arbor. The name is Hebron in the land of Canaan. And Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. Now, you have here the death of Sarah. And you'll notice her age is given as a hundred and twenty-seven years old. Now, she was 90 when Isaac was born. Now, we are told that when Sarah died in Kerjif Arbor, it's Hebron. And we'll notice how Abraham even had to buy a cave in which to bury his dead in the very land that God had given him. Now, why didn't he take her somewhere else to bury her? Well, because the hope they have is in that land. That is the hope of the future. And I'll move on down and read this because although it's the arrangements for a funeral, and that's not very exciting or very interesting and certainly becomes a little morbid to some, but it's very important to see here a great truth. Now I'm reading verse 3. And Abraham stood up from before his dead and spake unto the sons of Heth, saying, I am a stranger and a sojourner with you. Give me a possession of a burying place with you that I may bury my dead out of my sight. Now notice Abraham calls himself a stranger and a sojourner, even in the promised land that God had promised to give him. And verse 5, And the children of Heth answered Abraham, saying unto him, Hear us, my Lord, thou art a mighty prince among us. In the choice of our sepulchres, bury thy dead. None of us shall withhold from thee his sepulchre, but that thou mayest bury thy dead. Now this is a very generous offer of the children of Heth that lived in this land. They said to Abraham, you just pick your burying spot in any of our sepulchres, and that's it. We'd be delighted to have you. You see, Abraham had made a tremendous impression. He's a mighty prince. This man, influence counted for some.